your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm Taylor Hemnes. For the second night in a row, a deadly shooting in Casey Mo happened on East 6th Street and Monroe. The call came in just after 11 o'clock last night as a sound of gunshots. As officers were responding, that was upgraded to a shooting. When they arrived, they found a man at the intersection who'd been shot multiple times. He died at the hospital. It happened just about an eighth of a mile away from a home where two people were shot and killed one night prior to that. There's no indication the two cases are related, but police are hoping their proximity to Independence Avenue might mean someone driving or walking saw something. Right now, there's no suspect information in either case, but if you know anything, you can call the tips hotline. Businesses in Jackson County now have new guidelines to reopen. The county amended phase one of its reopening plan on Wednesday. Starting May 18th, gyms and fitness centers will be allowed to open with occupancy limits. That's based on how large each building is. Places of worship also allowed to open May 18th with the same occupancy limits as non-essential businesses. Today, Casey Moses City Council is set to hear the first reading of a new legislation that would shut down certain streets and sidewalks in entertainment districts. The change would allow small businesses to expand outside in order to bring in more customers. The expansion into the streets would also increase the occupancy number for each of those businesses too. I'm meteorologist Lindsay Anderson. We're tracking some morning rain and thunderstorms across northeast Kansas and northern Missouri. Eventually that rain will come to an end by the mid to late morning hours and we should dry out at times this afternoon. That's going to bring our highs today to the upper 70s and then result in a risk for severe storms between 4 and 5 p.m. as it initiates. This severe weather threat will continue through the late evening hours and our concern will then turn to flash flooding overnight tonight.